When it comes to breast augmentation, there's a lot of options out there, so how do you know which one is right for you? One of the options available is the Natrell Gummy Implant, and today we're learning more about it with Dr. Perry Johnson. He is the Chief of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery for Nebraska Medicine. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We're here at Village Point Aesthetic Surgery, where you do a lot of breast augmentation. Yeah. One of the things we're talking about today is the gummy implant. We have some of them here. Yeah. What makes this implant special? Basically, the gummy bear implant is kind of a slang term for a highly cohesive implant. And you have implants that vary in cohesivity uh, and depending on what your goals or needs are will dictate whether a co cohesive implant is right for you. Uh, one of the problems we have with implants, and in particular saline implants, is you can have rippling and folding of that implant. That could potentially be visible through the skin in small breasted patients with very little fat uh, on their tissue. If your breast tissue is three inches thick, then it really doesn't matter. Is it saline? Is it silicone? It doesn't matter. And so the gummy bear is this more highly bound silicone that's thicker, more like jello, or a gummy bear. If you were to cut it in half, it would just sit there, it wouldn't ooze out onto the table. Whereas traditional silicone, if you were to cut it out, it's more like jelly, it just leaks out. And so those patients, breast reconstruction patients, typically we would use a gummy bear implant after a mastectomy. Again, because of that thin soft tissue coverage, you want an implant that's gonna have less visible rippling or folding. So is it fair to say that it holds its shape better? Exactly, so the gummy bear implant is also called the form stable implant, meaning exactly that. That in different positions, whether you're lying down, sitting up, that it maintains that shape. In a traditional saline implant or traditional silicone, that filler material when you're standing will kind of descend to the bottom of the implant and give you more of an anatomically shaped implant. But a form stable implant or the highly cohesive gummy bear implant tends to hold its shape better. You mentioned that the amount of breast tissue that a woman has can impact if they need this. When you have consultations with women, do they know if this might be something that they need or is it kind of something that they discover through the consultation process? Some do. I mean, it, the gummy bear is a very popular term that er, people can kind of relate to. So a lot of patients are peripherally aware that there's this gummy bear implant that's out there that exists. Uh, a lot of times, however, they don't know, is, is it appropriate for me? Uh, and again, if you're a C cup and want to be a D cup, then it, it probably isn't really relevant. Uh, but if you're an A cup with minimal breast tissue, then the gummy, implant, gummy bear implant would be appropriate. There's been some talk about these implants in the news. Are they safe and what are the concerns? Yeah, so there's, there's a couple recent issues. Breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma. That's a mouthful, but that's a type of lymphoma that's been associated with textured surface implants. And there are textured surface implants that are anatomically shaped that we've used in the past. We tend to shy away from those just because of the controversy associated with that. But the current gummy bear implants that we typically use are smooth surface, and those are not associated with lymphoma. And if you have questions, ask. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's a, even in those cases, it's incredibly rare. I've never even heard of a case of it in the state of Nebraska. Uh, but there is that associated, and that's still kind of being worked out. Every patient has a different idea of the look that they want to achieve. Some patients might want just a little bit of a lift. Yeah. Other patients might want a fuller look. What kind of look can the gummy bear implants achieve? I think the gummy bear, it, particularly in smaller breasts of women, will help to shape the breasts better and give you a more rounded shape if that's what you're looking for. Historically, um, you also have anatomically shaped implants that are gummy bear implants. Again, those are textured surface implants. And right now, there's kind of a general trend to move away from textured surface implants. You don't have to come into the office knowing exactly what you want. You have a consultation process that can help with that. Explain what that's like. Basically, a patient uh, comes in and we just kind of talk about what your goals are and, and looking at your height, your weight, your breast characteristics, dimensions, we get a sense of what you want to be and if it's appropriate. We have video image or uh, computer imaging programs where we can take a picture of your breast, pull you up on the computer screen and start plugging in different sized implants to see what looks good to you. And then we also have patients try implants on inside of a sports bra to also get that uh, three-dimensional feel to it. Do you find that sometimes patients come in with one idea in their head and then through that kind of visual process and the consultation, they, they change their mind, they adapt yeah. their plan a little bit? Absolutely. Um, once you kind of see it in real life on your body, mm -hmm. um, it, it a lot of times gives you a different perspective and a more realistic expectation of what you want to be. Best first step? 
Best first step is either go to our website to get some general information, look at before and after pictures. It goes through expectations, recovery time, risk benefits, and then come, come pay us a visit and we'll just kind of go through the process with you. If you're interested in scheduling a consultation, you can go to surgeryvp.com or call 402-596-4000. Thank you, Dr. Johnson, so much for your time today. Great information. Thank you. I appreciate it. You bet. And thanks to all of you for watching.